right, gamers, amigo, homie, gather around. Let's talk real quick. Just gonna do a quick commentary on the latest game release on Steam. I'm not gonna do anything on other consoles, PS5 or whatsoever. Most of the games are available on Steam, unless they make it exclusive for consoles like PS5, like the recent run-in of the, the Blade game kind of thing. So by the way, just down about to buy two games, and I'm about to get on Helldivers right now. And not too sure how long I'm going to play, man. So far, I played like 54 hours, and I'm enjoying it. It's just catching up, not wasting time. It's like a reward system. Get the work done, just chill for an hour, two, three, doesn't matter, right? So, so far, so good. And it seems like Sony backtracked. My previous video where I talked about how they just came up with the, now you're locked into the system, meaning you have to connect your PSN network. But it seems like this is... This is the irony, and this is the kind of pattern if you follow. Most game developers or publishers, they will kind of test the markets with some rumor or so-called whatever, and then it backfires, and then it retracts. Oh, yeah, we're sorry. We're going to fix it. I understand. We always get so overhyped and excited or agitated because of some sort of news, and then next day they come and say, yeah, now we're good. Oh, yeah, okay, they apologized. Man, this is like a trend now. So I guess I'm going gonna, gonna to wait next time. Before I give my two cents, like a day or two or three max. Yeah, not just give immediately. So anyways, let me show you what's happening here real quick. Store. I'm going to check on the, some of the, oh, yeah, like I mentioned. Hades 2 was out since, what, two days now? $29, man, $30. And then a V Rising. So they're very similar if you really look. Okay, just look at this here. This is V Rising. Yeah, someone's playing this live right now. But if I just have to show you this. Look at this. Very positive. Overwhelmingly positive. 88% of 70,000 users. Okay. However, there is a negative review, which I don't know if I should ignore. Because it does matter to me. Right? But overall, if I really look. First of all, I ask myself, do I enjoy these kind of games? Yeah. Hades 2, I played... Um, What's the other game I have, actually? The Sheep game. <laughs> so it's very similar to that. Same thing, it's like the, the other one as well. The Hades 2, right? If you look at the V Rising and Hades 2, it's kind of funny because same kind of model, right? Third person RPG story mode. I played Hades 1. I still have it on PS4, I believe so. I didn't finish it. It was just getting a little overwhelming, so kind of bailed out. Anyways, now... I want to show you what's latest new release in the queue now. That's boring. I don't want to drag this long. I want to just get on real. Wait, how do you check that? So currently I have these games. And if I get on the other one, Epic Games, I have Mortal Kombat. I haven't even finished Prince of Persia. I really want to get back and finish it off. I don't like playing something halfway and then quitting, to be honest. Unless it's totally not worth it. Okay, horseshit. It's rare. I finished South Park. I don't know how to deal with the snow day. Um, Star Wars Jedi Survivor and the last mission. Last mission, actually, trying to finish off. Power World, I never touched it. I don't know why. Maybe not my thing. I don't know, man. Maybe it has something to do with the age gap. I've been playing video games since ever. I can play Pokemon right now, but that's not Pokemon. Yeah. Copy pasta. Anyways, how do I see that? Home. Let's go home. Library. Oh, this is home. Store. All right, new, stronger and new releases. Check this out. No, please, I don't want to see this new releases. And you know what's sad to see? Another two... Wait, let me see. Please, don't tell me there's some BS or oh, hentai. Hentai puzzle. Hent. AI puzzle. Are you kidding me? Now they're using AI to sell games. Hentai. No way, my body. No, no, no. My God, man. But this is, what is this? Pac-Man. Mega Tunnel Battle Chomp Champs. Six user reviews. Casual Arcade Battle Royale. I'm playing with other players. That's rare. But pro just came out, so I don't want to touch on this. Some of them are like just grifting. Copy pasta, I told you. Popular new release. V Rising. That's popular. Path of Achura. Look at this here. No. Heading out. <laughs> Very positive. 
Visual novel, stylized. No, I'm not into those kind of game. Cybernetic seduction. Man, these are all garbage, poo-poos. Again, Sex of Thrones. All right, before I end, I want to just ask a quick question. Not exactly a question. I'm asking you for your thoughts. What do you think is happening with this modern this FPS kind of games? Call of Duty or anything like that. They're kind of ruining it, man. Look at this here. Mixed reviews. Call of Duty, at one point, they just, it became garbage. I started playing on Xbox way, way back. Started with Call of Duty 2. Not too sure if I played 1. I literally, I kid you not, I started with Call of Duty 2. And you know what we have. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Then started Modern Warfare 1, 2, 3, 4. Then started so many other stuff. Warfare, this and that. <laughs> it's crazy. So, if you paid attention to the, the pattern, at one point, FPS games started becoming really crappy. And every FPS game that came out after that, if you look, the reviews are kind of mixed. I don't see anything really decent. And I love FPS games. All right? Don't get me wrong. I, I've been playing for quite some time. The last one that's closest to very decent is Over Overwatch. Overwatch 2. I kind of miss that game, honestly. It was still fun. I was playing with people. I was talking to them. It, it was fun, believe it or not. Total team deathmatch. But after that, just look at all this game. The two games I just added to my cart are V Rising and Hades 2. But why can't I have something like, no, not main or large. But you look at this gray here. Then you have this one here. Oh yeah, my camera had to die at the right time. Scar Ritual, what is this? Very positive, atmospheric adventure shooter. Okay, this one looks interesting, but 3000 rating, I don't know yet. This is also an FPS. $24, $34. I mean, they're just reducing, reducing the cost, man. I, don't, I wouldn't mind. You charge me $50, but give me something extremely solid. Yeah. I mean, Helldivers is, is worth the game, to be honest. If they left all the dramas and everything aside, all the locking and all that, it's, it's a great game. It's fun. So anyways, I'm about to buy these two, which are, um, oh man, I have 21 on my wish list. <laughs> I have two in the cards. $61 Reno, 61 That means I have to starve. And my cats will starve for a week or so, I don't know. Anyways, just wanted to give me two cents. And yeah, if you're on Twitch, NeoRajax7, I'm almost... Oh, I'm, I'm at 47 followers. Wait, did I just gain one extra? Anyways, catch up. Follow on Twitch, NeoRajax7, and let me know what games are you playing, and I'll see you in the next vid. Peace.